In this video, we'll be looking into dmessage command in deep. We have already used dmessage command to look for the print key messages. So what is dmessage command and what dmessage command does? So dmessage command is used to print the kernel ring buffer. Kernel, it keeps all the print key logs in a ring buffer. But why? This is to avoid the boot logs being lost. When the kernel boots, there is no root file system. This means it does not have capability to write to any file. So that's the reason it what it does is whatever print case you are trying to write, you are trying to call, it will store them in a ring buffer. Once the system is up, syslog daemon starts and it will collect them, collect the contents of the ring buffer and store them in a, in a file which is specific to the distribution. So if you look into the process list, we'll be seeing there's a syslog daemon running, so which is actually reading, periodically reading the kernel buffer, contents of kernel buffer and it's writing into some file in val log, which depends on the distribution. For example, you have here kern.log. Where you have your messages present here. So dmessage command it's only is used to print the ring buffer. If you do not have this ring buffer, we'll be losing the boot up logs. We'll be will not be having any logs until the kernel starts mounting the root file system and has access to write to a file. So using ring buffer we are saving we are, we are resolving that problem. So dmessage command is used to either print the ring buffer or to control the contents of ring buffer. So the default option of dmessage command is to print the contents of the kernel ring buffer on the console. So it will print it on the console. So it will use std out. For example, if you say s trace dmessage, you can see it is writing, reading from a particular file and it's writing to the one. One is the file descriptor for std out. So it is writing to std out. It's not writing to std error. So as I said, the message command, the default operation is to print the kernel ring buffer, but there are additional op options which you can pass to the message to perform or to control the kernel ring buffer. The first option is small c. So C stands for clear, so clear ring buffer. So if you want to clear the ring buffer, so you can use small c or capital C command. So the difference between small c and capital C is small c will print the current contents of the ring buffer and then it will clear it. Whereas capital C will, it will clear the ring buffer but it will not print any contents. So capital C will not print anything and it will clear it. Small c will print the kernel buffer on the console and then it will clear it. So we'll be looking at this command la at the last. The next command is timestamps. So when you say dmessage, uh, it adds timestamps here. So if I do not, if this is an epoch time. If I do not want a timestamp, I can say dmessage hyphen t and I will not be having the timestamps. So using hyphen t option, we can remove the timestamps kernel dmessage will not print timestamps. And we have also seen that printk has support for log levels. There are various log levels. Now if I only want to see a particular log level, I can use hyphen l command. So for example, if I only want to you see info messages, we have used kern info. So it will only print info messages. Suppose if I only want to see error messages, then it will only print error messages. If I want to see error and warn messages, then I can have error comma warn. So using comma you can add as many as you want. If I only want to see emergency messages, I don't know. So let's see what is for emergency. I find L is not having emergency. Emergency is not present. So you have either err, you have warn, we do not have emergency here, and you have critical, you have alert. 
so you can add alert so using hyphen l you can list which all log levels you want to see then you have capital d like small d you have capital d capital d will allow you to convert the timestamp epoch timestamp into a human readable timestamp you can see this timestamp is in a human readable format now this is the format so we have the previous message at 537 and now it is 551 so your capital D is a useful one, useful one if you want to see in a human readable timestamp and if you want to also add x uh, log level to the kernel content the ring buffer content you can say d message hyphen x so you have info and the log level as well as the timestamp and i can add, combine multiple options like i can say xt now hyphen t is for that human readable timestamp and x is for the log level and i can say x small t in this case we are removing the timestamp so you can combine multiple options here so let's look into the d message minus c now which is used to clear the kernel buffer so d message hyphen small c will clear the kernel buffer and before clearing the kernel buffer it will print the contents of the kernel buffer so it is printing the kernel buffer contents and it failed to clear the kernel before buffer because it needs root permissions so let's give sudo d message hyphen c so it prints the current content of the kernel ring buffer and it clears it now if i say d message i don't see anything now suppose let's try to load a module for the next option so if i want to see i want to observe capital c behavior so for that i'm adding some logs to the kernel ring buffer so i added some of the logs now we have few logs in the kernel ring buffer small we have seen the small c option let's look into the capital c option capital c option will clear the kernel buffer and it will it will not print the contents of the ring buffer so we also need sudo permission for this see it has not printed the contents of the kernel ring buffer and it has cleared it if i said e message i will not be having anything there so these are the various options which are available uh, on the with the d message command so d message command is used to print the kernel buffer which is the default option and you can add additional options to d message command to control the kernel buffer